Welcome LSU Eunice community to the Student Government Association President and Vice President Candidate Forum. I'm super excited to introduce you to the candidates for President and Vice President today. On one ticket, we have Jace McDonald running for President with Macy Spell, who is running for Vice President. On the other ticket, we have Megan Como running for President with Brianne Cormier, who's running for Vice President. Ms. Cormier was not able to join us for this forum, uh, but we were able to connect with her separately, and her video has been added to the end. So stick around to hear from Ms. Cormier. We wanted to host this forum in person in the Acadian Center to engage with students to let you meet the candidates, but obviously under our current set status, we can't make that happen. But I hope you'll enjoy this virtual format we've put together for you to meet your candidates. So without further ado, please welcome your 2020-2021 SGA President and Vice President candidates. Megan, uh, start with you, just go ahead and introduce yourself, your name, major, your hometown, where you're broadcasting from. Um, my name is Megan Como. I'm broadcasting from my house. I am 16. I am a part of the LSU Academy, where it means I am a junior in high school, also a freshman in college. My major is psychology with a minor in pre-law, and I'll, after LSU, I'm going to transfer to LSU. Hopefully, I'll go to 3 plus 3 and go to graduate school there. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Uh, Jace, um, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Jace McDonald. I am 19 years old from Denham Springs, Louisiana, which is also where I'm broadcasting from in my backyard, six feet away from all people at all times. Uh, I play baseball at LSU E and I'm business major. And when I finish up here, I plan to hopefully go to an SEC school to continue my uh, academic and athletic career. Awesome. Great. Thank you, Jace. And Macy, uh, introduce yourself for the folks out there. Okay, um, I'm Macy Spell. I am 18 years old. I'm from Egan, Louisiana, which is where I'm broadcasting from, and I'm majoring in elementary education, and I plan to do the 2 plus 2 program with UL. Sounds good. Uh, well, with that, um, I'll ask this question for everybody, and Jace, you can go first. Um, let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and mute everybody. Uh, okay, so tell me why you decided to run for SGA office. Um, I've always really cared about politics for uh, some odd reason. I've always really enjoyed getting into it and paying attention to what's going on around us. And once I got on campus at LSUE and uh, learned more about the campus and how much I loved it, I really wanted to get involved more. And so I thought SGA would be a great way to go about doing that and that you can do a lot of good things if you're in it for the right reasons. So that's Awesome. And uh, Jace is running with Miss Macy Spell. Macy, why did you choose to run for SGA office? Um, I think that LSUE is a great school, and um, I really want to get involved, like Jay said, and I think this is a great way to do that and just to get to know more of the student body. Okay, awesome. Thank you. And Megan, why did you choose to run for SGA president? Um, like Jace, I'm interested in politics and going into law and um, things like that. This will help me a lot with not only getting into law school, but making connections. And also, it's a great way to learn who the students are and get your name out. Um, so it's a little too early to tell, maybe, because uh, we're still in, uh, we're just entering our second week of classes under this new format. But what do you think of the university's handling of the COVID-19 crisis so far? Uh, so uh, is there anything you think was done well? And is there anything you think we maybe could have done differently? So that's kind of a a big question, but I'm going to ask it of Jace first, um, and then we'll allow um, Macy, and then we'll do Megan uh, to bring up the last. So, Jace, what do you think? Um, it's tough, you know, because this is, we're living history right now. This will literally be in textbooks one day, probably when our kids are coming through school. This is a big deal, and this is uncharted territory, so I don't think anybody could have ever been prepared for what, what this, what's going on right now, and I think that how fast in a two week period we adapted all our classes online and uh, trying to make it most uh, accommodable for everybody possible. I think we've really done, have done a, the best job we possibly could do. I mean, this is uncharted territory. So I'm, I'm very proud of the university thus far. All right. Thanks, Jace. Uh, Macy. Um, like he said, I mean, nobody expected this to happen. Nobody was prepared for it. I think the, the professors did really well letting us know each week so far what's due. So I think they're handling it really well. All right. Thanks, Macy. Megan. 
Um, I think we actually kind of were prepared for it because we had everything like the format all the professors had to do, which was a lot of work, but they put everything online. But being we already had a Moodle system for online courses and their courses, they already had, you know, the things that they needed to put everything online and we already had the testing formats and stuff. So I think we did a really good job. And I also think it was a really good um, call to call off the week before spring break off just so the professors didn't have so much to do in such a short amount of time. Awesome. Great. Thank you all so much. So this is a question and Megan, I'll let you field this one first. Um, what challenges do you believe most LSU E students face uh, that keep them from being academically successful? I think the hardest thing is to take away from what most people think college is, maybe like partying or going out with friends or such things. I think a big thing in high school for most people is not being in it for the right reasons or not thinking it through. And college is a lot different because once you have a grade, it's on your transcript. Whether you're going to graduate school or you just want to go to, you know, transfer to UL or something else after such an LSU, like a junior college, it's a big deal, your GPA, and, you know, getting involved in things. And I think a lot of people haven't grown out of that high school phase where they think that it doesn't really matter or they could just redo it or something like that. But it costs a lot of money for one and for two. It takes a lot of your time to make good grades, but it is well worth it. And I think it's a mindset a lot of people struggle with and that maybe we could help them. Awesome. All right, Jace, so what do you think uh, keeps, what challenges do you think students face at LSUE to keep them from being, from academic success? Well, to echo what uh, Megan said, generally in college, that those are all problems that we all face uh, across the country, but specifically at LSUE, I'd say we're more of a rural, rural community than anything else. I'd say that maybe uh, access to technology is not always what it should be at a college level. And I think our campus through the library and other, um, other means have, have done a really good uh, job of that. And I also think one of the things I wanna focus on if I'm elected is try to get more technology in the hands of students, whether that's using our budget to up, um, to uh, better the campus or to maybe start some type of rental program for students who don't have access to technology at home. From us and we can do something along those lines. So there's a lot of uh, challenges we do face, but I think there's definitely solutions for those problems. Great. And Macy, anything to add to that? Um, I think um, the main struggle for a lot of students is not having the motivation that they should. And I think that's when people stepping in and helping them and motivating them is important. Awesome. Great. All right. So this, this is kind of a fun question. Um, Want to kind of get, let the uh, audience know who you are and know a little bit about you. So, all right. So during the social distancing, most people are getting a lot of TV time. Uh, what is your favorite show that you've been binge watching on Netflix, or Disney Plus, or Hulu? And Macy, since you're on the screen, I'll let you go first. Um, mine is definitely Vampire Diaries. <laughs> oh, Vampire Diaries. Awesome. Never seen that yes. myself. And Megan, what about you? I've been binge watching Teen Wolf. I've almost gone through the last three seasons within the last three weeks of being old. <laughs> nice. And Jace, what about you? Um, Game of Thrones, no doubt. Best TV show I've ever watched. Awesome. And I'll go ahead and answer that one for me. McMillions, if you haven't seen it, it's an HBO documentary on uh, the McDonald's mishandling of the, uh, the Monopoly game pieces. It's pretty fantastic. All right. So just for each of y'all, uh, what is your future career and why? And we'll go in reverse order again. Jay, so I'll let you go first. Future career, uh, definitely some somewhere in politics, whether that's actually running for office or just being a behind the scenes guy, uh, definitely something I want to do. And I think to achieve that, I'm going to definitely go to law school. Not quite sure if I want to practice law yet, but definitely go to law school. So if I'm going to be writing laws, hopefully I'll have a better understanding of them. Awesome. Great. And Megan, what about you? Um, I want to be a lawyer. It took me a long time to decide what kind of lawyer because you can do a lot of different things with such a broad um, 
thing like Jay said, he might not even practice law, but he could write things and run for political positions. I knew I wanted to be a lawyer for a really long time, but I didn't decide that I wanted to be an immigration lawyer till this previous year when I started college. And through that, I want to, of course, run for such things as judge and get into the government. But I really thought immigration was a good way to share like the United States dream and stuff like that and show people that they have a voice in coming into America. Great. Thank you. Macy. Um, I want to be a teacher. Um, as a child, I always loved learning, like more than a lot of other students that I was around. And I've always looked up to my teachers. So I think it would be really cool to step in and be that person that teaches the children and watch them progress throughout the year. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Okay. Um, if you were chancellor of LHUE, what would be your first action, uh, or, or I guess what would be on day one? What's the first thing that you would do? Uh, you're now chancellor of LSUE. And uh, Jason, I'll let you go first on that one. First thing I would do, and one of the big reasons I am running, and not that Dr. Swanson has not done a great job of this, but I would try to integrate uh, student athletes' lives more with the students' lives. I feel like, and everybody knows this if you've been to high school, like Megan's still there, but you, everybody knows this, that I think there's a stigma around athletes that um, – athletes get a better shake or athletes get more of the breaks on campuses and things like that. And I don't think this happens at LSUE, but I really want to biggest, one of the biggest reasons I'm running is to make sure that students get more integrated into each other's lives. We're not clicky. We're not sitting over there and they're the athletes, they're the students, you know, all that stuff. I want everybody to be one LSUE together, everybody on an equal playing field. Okay. All right. Thank you. And um, Megan, I agree a lot with what Jace is saying because one of the main reasons me and Brianna are running and what we really want to uphold is involvement and transparency. Not only through like um, the deans and stuff and getting that a gateway to talk to students, but we want the student athletes, you know, the academic teams, just speech and debate. We want the clubs and organizations to all cohere and listen to each other and maybe have a lot more say in what each other do. Because as I am in high school, I know a lot of the athletes there do, like Jay said, have division. And even some of the athletes to other athletes, like baseball and football, they don't tend to get along. But I think in college, it should be a lot different because of the amount of kids we have and that you're there for a good reason. You're talented at what you do. So I think student involvement would be something I would do. And if chancellor, I would host um, things where the athletes maybe greet the students and the student orgs greet athletes and such. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Macy. Um, I would try my best to make it make the students feel like no matter who they are, if they're athletes or not, that they're seen and that their opinions are cared about. So right. whatever that would look like. All right, great. Um, all right, so just have two more questions. And uh, all right, this question right here. So imagine that you are president, or in your case, vice president um, of SGA, and a student reaches out to you to voice their concerns that they cannot complete their coursework online for the semester, you know, as a result of the, you know, everybody having to uh, change the, our course delivery. So what would you say to the student and what would you do? So this is a student that says, you know, I'm reaching out to you, SGA leader. I'm really concerned. I, I can't finish out the semester. What would you encourage them to do? Or what would you say to the student? And um, I'll, I'll let Megan go first on this one. I would encourage them to reach out to someone. I know being we're in the COVID state and we can't really, you know, social distancing and everything, it'd be really hard to offer them to come to my house or, you know, a fellow student's house. But I'm sure a lot of us do live around the same area. Maybe you have to reach out to someone you don't know, but that would get you more involved with them and what they do. I think it's hard even as an SGA or even a chancellor if they were asked this what to tell a student because you don't want to go against the mandated six feet and all of that stuff but you also don't want to fail your classes because you did pay a lot of money to come to this school or any school in that fact so I think I would just advise them either try it on your phone because there are um, my courses is accessible on t tablets phones laptops desktops I mean I do my math homework sometimes on my phone because my laptop goes in and out so there are ways to get around it, but if it was like a Wi-Fi problem, I would definitely, you know, just go sit in like a McDonald's parking lot or something, you know, something with free access or um, a friend. Awesome. Great. Thank you. And uh, Jace? Uh, definitely to echo what Megan said once again, the uh, asking a friend is probably the best way to go about it in this uh, current environment that we're in. But even moving past this virus, if that ever becomes a problem, again, I think I mentioned this earlier, 
uh, um, start some kind of a program through SGA where we maybe buy some computers or buy some laptops through our budget and rent those out or lo loan those to students and let them have, um, based on needs and who needs it, that let them have access to better internet connection in the future. Great. Macy. Okay. Um, I would first of all tell them that I'm sorry because I'm sure that's super frustrating. Uh, but I would definitely recommend using a phone because that's probably the easiest thing. It would be hard to try to go to someone's house, you know, with the six feet situation. Okay, great. All right. So we got one more question and we're going to wrap it up. Um, and so when you answer this question, feel free to put any closing statements or anything that you want to put. But this is, um, and this question will lead smoothly into your closing statements. Finish this sentence. Vote for me because uh, blank. And Macy, I'll let you go feel this one first. Um, because I want you to know that you are seen and that your opinions matter. Okay, great. Awesome. And um, Megan, I'll let you go next. Vote for me because um, I'll give two answers. One, I'm qualified, and two, we hear you. The first, I'm qualified through many positions on campus, SGA, um, Pre-Vet Club. I hold those two uh, leadership positions. I also am a member of the speech and debate team, and we travel a lot. So we see a lot of, you know, other organizations, and we learn, you know, through traveling you get to see you know their speech i mean sga and they tend to do a lot of things not repping themselves but for students and that leads into you were heard and brianna and i really really want to form not just you know we hear you in the meetings but we want you to come to SGA office we want to go to you you know in the lunchroom or the cafeteria or whatever it is or you know we have classes with you we want you to recognize us not just as the sga president but we're your friends we're here for you we hear you and thank you awesome great and Jace? Um, vote for me because I want our student body to be one LSUE, everybody on an equal playing field, getting a fair shake together and making the campus the best campus it can possibly be. I'm qualified for the position through being a senator for a year on SGA, and also I play baseball at LSUE, so I feel like that gives me a type of team atmosphere that I know what it takes to be successful working equally with each other, everybody on the same playing field, and uh, really bringing student athletes' lives into the students' lives. That's the biggest reason I'm running with Macy. I wanted to get, I wanted to make, make sure I'm hearing both sides of uh, getting both perspectives of what it's like from a student standpoint and a student athlete standpoint. So uh, if you want to, if you want everybody to be on an equal playing field, one LSUE, me and Macy are your people. All right. Great. All righty. Thank you all so much. Uh, that concludes our SGA president and VP candidate forum. Thank you guys so much for connecting in these unusual times. And uh, the elections are April 21st and April 22nd on course eval. All students will get an email with a link uh, that they'll be able to follow and some instructions for voting. Uh, so check your email, vote, and thank you candidates. Welcome students and viewers. We just wrapped up our SGA candidate forum, but we were missing our vice president candidate, Ms. Brianne Cormier, uh, who we now have connected with us uh, to fulfill her part of the candidate forum. So welcome, Brianne. Uh, Want to get it kicked off and have you just introduce yourself, just your name, your hometown, where you're, uh, where you're broadcasting from, and your major. So Brianne, I'll turn it over to you. Okay. I'm Brianne Cormier. I'm a sophomore at LSUE. Um, I'm broadcasting from Lafayette all all right. way over here. <laughs> and um, I'm very happy to be here. Wonderful. Yeah, we wanted to do this, uh, wanted to do this candidate forum um, in person, but obviously we were unable to do that due to the current situation. So uh, why did you decide to run for SGA office? And Brianne, to remind everybody, is running on a ticket with Megan. Combo. So, Brianne, why did you decide to run with Megan for SGA office? So, I decided to run for senator in September of 2019, not knowing really what SGA was all about. And once I won and joined, I just, it's just been so amazing. I love making friends with everyone. And I love making a death. So, Running with her would be so awesome because I know we would do really good things for the school. Awesome, great. All righty. Um, so what is your favorite thing about LSU Eunice? I love how 
like how many friends you can make it's super easy to make friends and the students are super sweet and the instructors are always willing to help you and you can always count on someone to make your day i don't think i've ever had a bad day at school that's great awesome so uh what do you think of the university's handling of the COVID-19 crisis? So, you know, we're still early in it. We're only in our second week back from spring break. Um, but is there anything you think was done really well by LSU Eve and anything you think uh, you would have handled differently? So I think they're handling it amazing. Canceling the rest of the semester early on before it could get any worse was their best move because um, we don't want anyone to get it or, you know, to get really bad. So I think um, canceling school early on was like the best move. And I don't think I would change anything. They're, keep, they're doing their best to keep everyone away. So I think that was really good. Great, awesome. Uh, so during the social distancing, most people are getting in a lot of TV time. So what is your favorite show on Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu that you've been binge watching? So, <laughs> on Hulu, I just have, I've been watching My Strange Addiction. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just crazy. Like, why? Why? Why do anything? So you haven't gotten into the Tiger King yet, right? No. I, I've heard lots of things about it. Yeah. My wife's been watching a lot of that. I, I, I recommend you don't. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, what is your future career and why? So my major right now is sonography, and once I graduate with that, I think I'm going to go to hospitals around, like, traveling sonographer, mostly for the cardiovascular system, but also babies. Okay. Awesome. So what challenges do you believe most LSU East students face that keep them from being academically successful? Um... Hmm. What was the question? So, so, you know, our students at LSUE, uh, you know, some of them struggle to be successful academically. Not, it doesn't always come easy. So I guess what do you think challenges uh, students face that keep them from getting up, uh, straight A's, you know? Oh, so I think the biggest challenge is maybe um, not being able to study or they don't prioritize classes like they should. Um, but I think if you learn how to study correctly, treat school like a number one priority, I think anyone can really get straight A's if they wanted. Awesome. Great. Okay, cool. So, um, if you were, were chancellor of LSUE, what would your first action be at day one? Um, definitely get more of the students, um, is that word? you know, kind of interact with each other. Sure. I feel like there's kind of like groups and not everyone really knows each other. And I really think since l is kind of a smaller campus, everyone should just know each other. And if you need help with any classes, there are just people around. So I think I would do something to get them all together. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so, um... We just have two more questions here. So imagine you're the SGA uh, vice president uh, student lead, and a student reaches out to you to voice their concern that they can't complete their coursework online for the semester. Um, so, you know, they either don't have the technology or, or uh, you know, they aren't able to complete it. What would you say to the student and what would you do as a student leader? So I would say that they can maybe go to a library. I mean, even though things are bad, maybe not a library and not go in public at all or use their phone or if they don't have a phone or anything like that, use their parents' phone or like a home computer. Um, just something around the lines of that. Okay, awesome. So the last question is, and you can uh, segue into this with any closing statements that you want to make. Um, so finish this sentence, vote for me because blank. And then any, uh, anything you want to leave the uh, viewers with, feel free to uh, follow it up with that. So vote for me because what? Okay. 
Vote for me, Brienne Cormier, because I think we are going to make the school um, more amazing. I think that we, Megan and I are willing to do anything we can for the school. So if that means getting more TVs or doing stuff for the school, getting stuff, talking to students, we would do anything to help out anyone. And she's super smart, so she would be a super good president, and we work really well together. All right, that's awesome, Brian. Well, thank you so much for joining us uh, virtually via Zoom for this uh, unusual candidate forum. But uh, you did a fantastic job, and I want to wish you the best of luck. Uh, again, for the viewers, voting is uh, Tuesday, April 21st, and Wednesday, April 22nd on your course eval. Every student is going to get an email with instructions on how to vote, um, and you'll be voting for president, vice president tickets. Um, so Brianne is running with Megan, Megan Como, and we have Jace McDonald running with Macy Spell. We wish everybody the best of luck. And Brianne, thank you again, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. All righty.